So hi, my name is Steven Anderson with Samsung Telecommunications America. I'm a national product trainer for Samsung. And today I want to demonstrate to you the Samsung Galaxy Note, soon to launch for AT&T. Now as you can see right off the bat, this is a big, beautiful screen. This is a 5.3 inch HD Super AMOLED display. It will be the first HD Super AMOLED display offered at AT&T. Now what makes this device unique, besides from the gorgeous display, is this unique S Pen that comes with, a dis with the device. The S Pen will then slide right in the bottom of the device for storage, and again, slide out. Now this is different than any other maybe stylus that you've seen. With this S Pen, it has a button on it that gives it a few additional features that you can't get from a normal stylus. Let me give you an example here. If I access the web page. Now as I pull this up, this is an LTE device. It has a one and a half gigahertz dual core processor on the device. And here we go, the web page is pulled up. If I hold the button in, I can press down on the screen and it does a screenshot. Unbelievable. The screenshot, I can then access my uh, tools up top and I could pick a writing tool. And so if I wanted to, for instance, capture um, a picture or a note, I can then maybe say circle it underline it right on the screen, and then even share without ever accessing going to another application to do it. I can use Facebook, Gmail, email, text messaging, all sorts of uh, services available to you. Another great feature of the S Pen is the memo feature. So another opportunity, if you are maybe in a web page again and there's something you see that you'd like to write down, you can double tap when you hold the pen and you can actually press above the memo to then write. Go back and forth, you can toggle. Now for those people who are like, well, show me something else with the uh, tapping method. You can actually hit the phone call. So imagine you're on a phone call and when you're in the middle of a phone call, you need to write a message or a note down. Well, instead of reaching for like pen and paper on a dashboard of your car, simply hold the button in, double tap on the screen, and again, you can write your memo there instead and save it. What I love is after you save it, and this is how it actually replaces my personal planner, I can then go to my S memo, find the memo that I want to utilize. Here's one. I can go to menu, tap on the screen. I can select more, and I can actually link it to my planner. So I can do it as an event, a task, or anything else. So if I get a name or a number or anything I want to store or an event I need to create later, I can connect it to my calendar. And the great thing about this calendar, it's not just on your phone, it also syncs with uh, your email if you use Outlook or Gmail as well. Now, you notice I'm also left-handed. So they really thought of the lefties here when they made this device. So if I go to settings, I can actually go to pen settings and change my dominant hand to left-handed. So it's much easier and convenient and accurate for me to write on the device. Create a memo here. New memo. One second, here we go. So now I can actually write um, C E S. Very simple. Now, if I don't wanna write, me backspace here, erase this. I can actually text. So with text, I can actually use handwriting. So you might remember this from your Palm user. You can write in the bottom screen. If you don't want to write and you want to use a keyboard, you can still do it the traditional way. Very simple. And maybe you remember swipe. So if you haven't seen swipe, you can change the input method. And with swipe, the Guinness Book of World Records is held for texting utilizing swipe. So it's very easy to use and efficient. So I can put my style, or my S Pen down on the first letter of the word I want to spell, drag it across the corresponding letters, and begin my sentence. As you can see, it's very easy and efficient. If you don't want to type or swipe, how about simply recording and uh, entering your message by recording your voice instead? So you can speak your sentence as well. Love that feature. Now another feature with the S Memo is you can actually import a picture. Let me erase this here. There you go. 
So by importing a picture, select the picture here. And it's going to pull up all of your photos you might have on your device. So here's one right here. Picture was taken. And I could actually annotate on this screen. Very simply, very easily. I can even record my voice. So if I want to capture the day and time or the moment that it happened that I wanted to put this in here, what made me think of it, why I wanted to save it, I could do that as well. So it's highly customizable, very efficient. I always imagine if I'm a journalist or a writer that I would actually find this very helpful when I'm trying to capture a, a memo, memo or a, a, a note or a moment. Now this device has an eight megapixel camera with a flash. It has a two megapixel camera up front. It records in 1080p. Just to give you a demonstration of how clear, crystal clear the screen is, how beautiful it is. Actually, no videos on here, but if I was to record a video, which is very simple to do. Go camera, record video. It can record in 1080p, and it'll be full screen. Yeah, very easy. It's like this brilliant color. The blacks are very deep and rich. Of course, with an AMOLED screen, there's no light emitting through the screen, so that's why your blacks are so deep and dark, which gives you that beautiful picture from an AMOLED display. So that is the Samsung Galaxy Note. Thank you for your time today.